I'm in my 30s. You just turned 30 or early 30s. What is something you wish you knew in your 20s that you know now? If you could go back in your 20s and take, what's something you wish you knew in your 20s that you know now? I think one of the things that I learned is to give up control. Ooh, okay. I, uh, All right. Yeah, and it's funny, right? Because it, people can take that such out of context. Like, what do you mean yeah. up control? Like, don't care about life anymore? Don't care about where you're headed? Or say, like, no, that's <laughs> definitely not who I am. What I mean is let go, you know? Like, be, be present, you know? I was so attached to these ideas of what what happiness is. And the mm-hmm. more I started to let go, my false conceptions of happiness is when I actually became the happiest I've ever been. You know, I always thought, like, let's make money, let's chase more money. And then once I chase money, I'll be 35 rich. Then I'll find the right wife. And then it's all, you know, it's just like this scaling thing. And it's like, no, just live, <laughs> live in the present now. You know, you could have everything you want right now. I guarantee you what you want isn't that mansion, but it's probably the girl that comes with it that you could probably go have, you know. So Something. I would just say let go, you know, let go of your preconceived uh, conceptions and notions and just be present and listen. Yeah, I think that's awesome, man. For me, it's probably, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think. Back in college, I always wanted to start like an online blog and, and write. I, I didn't know at the time writing was my thing. I just had this itch to do it. It's one of those things I was too nervous to do it. So I want to get validated with other people. And they thought it was a good idea Then maybe I would do it. But, you know, what's meant for you is for you. It's tailor made for you. I mean, you know, my suit can't fit Ryan Manning like it fits me. And Ryan Manning's suit might be too tight for me, you know. Mm. So uh, it, it was just like when people said, no, that's stupid, man. Just that's silly. Like, I, I write a book. I mean, who buys books, you know, like. YouTube is coming up and I rather watch video and it's like, oh, okay, maybe I should write. Also when in college, I wanted to study abroad in Europe and I was talked out of it. And those are what I'm, that's my biggest regret. It's not going to Europe to study abroad. I, if my kids want to do it, it's like, all right, man, yeah, do it. Well, daddy, you paying for it? Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> Cause I want you guys to experience that. So it's let other people dictate what I should have done back then. Yeah, if I would have done it back then, who knows where and how far along it took me. It could have took, you know, or how much further along it would have been by that time. Yeah, man, that's a preconceived notion, right? It doesn't have to yeah. be yourself. It can come from someone else. I just I just left my brother. He's starting to grow marijuana. And everyone's like, dude, you just grow it and smoke it and just judge, 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 judge. And mm-hmm. I'm like, Connor, just don't let that affect you. Like, you love you love the medicinal property you believe in it you think you could help people with it it helps you you know he's got crohn's disease and it's like just do it man you love it like life is way too short i have read a uh, i'll talk about butcher and quotes yeah uh, the last things i'll leave you with i read this the other day and i just obsessed with it uh, confucius said you have two lives and uh Oh, I'm going to forget again. You have two lives and your second <laughs> life starts when you realize that you only have one. Oh, I talk about that in my book, The Come Up, where as soon as I divorce my ex, I'm like thinking, yeah, I got a good job, kids, but I still feel like there's something missing. And that's what it brought back to. I should have wrote a book. I should have done this. Okay, let me write a book. And now I feel more complete as a person and as well as new challenges and blessings and new opportunities and new people like how I met you. So, yeah, dude, talk about a second life when you realize you only have one and just go for it. Mm, That hits real deep for me. Yeah, it's something I share with everybody. And that's that ties into what you were saying. That ties into a degree with letting go. Look, I I, I don't care about anyone judging me, man. I I only care when uh, I'm affecting someone in a negative way and and like showing up late for our interview. You know, that's the only thing I care about outside of that. I don't care about that. Let let it be. You know, it's too much, too much beautiful stuff out there. And I honestly, the other thing I would say is gratitude. Like, yeah, someone in their 20s can get going in this. This thing has changed my life over the last few months because of my gratitude. It's like, Where's my phone? You're racing around, racing around, racing around. <laughs> like you finally pause and you're like, all right, let's just be grateful for the fact that I have a cell phone that I can look for. And I have a friend coming to pick me up that I get an opportunity to hang out for two hours with and do games with or whatever. And then you start to think from that frame. It's like, oh, actually, wait, my phone's right there. I was in there the whole time, you know, so. <laughs> but I think people get judged also for, sadly enough, for being gratitude. So uh, always be yourself and, and 
and be grateful for what you have and join groups like us like how much i've gotten from gain from you and from phil and all these different guys in our group sharing what they're grateful for it it allowed me to continue to inspire others you know when phil speaks that man kills it you know that's there's a lot of wisdom in there that he's just unleashing thanks again for coming on ryan looking forward to doing this again <laughs> next time thanks again you guys for watching this is your first time in you know what to do until next time Thank you.